Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to review this assignment on arc measure with equations. A couple of people had reached out to me and asked uh, if I could do some uh, examples from this assignment um, because you had issues with it. And if you look at some of the scores, there were a lot of incorrect responses specifically to this first question. So maybe we can start with that one. Um, all right, so it says in the figure below, AD and BE are diameters of circle P. So that's important to understand because if these are diameters, then we can say that this piece over here is 180 degrees, and so is this piece over here. So I'm going to highlight this one here. Because that's going to uh, help us solve the problem. So it says, what is the arc measure of CAD in degrees? So CAD. So the way that you read an arc um, is when it has three letters is in the direction of the middle letter. So what I mean by that is if I'm starting at C and ending at D, I can't say C, D. Like it's not this arc, the small one. It's in the direction of A. So we're really looking for the measure of this entire thing. So that whole highlighted red piece, C-A-D. So there's a lot of ways you can do this, um, but ultimately there, we need K. We need the value of K in order to somehow solve this. Um, so you could look at it a couple different ways. You could say um, you could find all of the pieces, so this piece, um, this piece, right, um, which – I'll explain in a second, is going to be 90, uh, and then find the value of K and plug it in. So you could do that. So I know this one is 90 because of this square here. That means this is a 90 degree angle. Um, and then if I know that BE is a diameter, that means that this also has to be 90 degrees. So this, a diameter will cut a circle into two equal halves. A circle has 360 degrees, so this entire arc here, BE, has to add up to 180. So if this is 90, 180 minus 90 is 90. So this one here, arc AB, has to also be 90 degrees. So the only problem with this is we would all, we don't know this because we don't know what – well, we know it equals 90, but we don't know what K is. And then we don't know what this piece over here is yet. So we can figure that out. So there's a couple ways we could do that. Um, the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to say that this 33K minus 9 is equal to 90. Now, I can say that because I also know that BE is a diameter. So if BE is a diameter, BE is a diameter, that means... Sorry, BE, um, AD is a diameter. The one that I highlighted is a diameter. I know that this half of the circle here, this whole part from A to D, has to equal 180. And I know if this piece is 90, then this missing piece, ED, has to also be 90 degrees. So I can use that to solve for K. So I'm simply solving the equation using inverse operations. We have 33K um, equals 99. Sorry. Divide by 33 to get K equals 3. So K is 3. So now I could go about this in two ways. Um, I could plug 3 in here and then solve for this missing piece because we know that this missing piece also has to be 90 degrees. So each one of these little quarters is 90 degrees essentially. Um, or what I'm going to do instead, because it would be quicker, is I'm just going to plug in K here, and then I'm going to subtract this arc from the entire circle, 360. So I say 20 times 3 plus 4, 20 times 3 is 60, plus 4 is 64. So this arc is 64 degrees. We know the whole circle has to add up to 360 degrees. 
So I would say 360 minus 64, which is 6 and 35, 296. So this answer is 296 degrees. Again, there are other ways that you can do this, um, but I think this one was the most efficient. Okay, uh, let's maybe look at one other one. Clear this. Um, this one, a lot of people got wrong. So did this one. This one. It takes a little trial and error, these. And this one. Okay. B, D, C. Maybe we'll look. Maybe we'll look at this one. All right. So. Um, in this problem, it says, again, A, C, and B, D are diameters of circle P. Um, that's important. So we know that A, C, and B, D are diameters. So I could say this whole thing here is equal to 180. And so is this whole piece, so is this piece. So we know a lot about the circle. What is the arc measure of BDC? So BDC, that's the one over here, BDC. Again, I'm going in the order of the middle, the middle point listed. All right, so we want that. So first, we definitely have to know what K is. In this case, I can say, because these are both diameters, um, I can say that this arc here or this angle is equivalent to this angle. So I could use the vertical angles theorem to solve for K. If I wasn't told that these are diameters, I wouldn't be able to do that. But because of that information, I can set these two equal. So I make my equation. I'm going to subtract 2K on both sides to get 2k plus 159 equals 153. Did I mess this up somehow? No, I didn't. Okay, so now I'll subtract 159 on both sides, which is 2k equals negative 6, which is weird. So let's see if this makes any sense. So we got 2K, 2K equals negative 6. Um, so I'm dividing by I'm dividing by 2 to get negative 3. My pen is acting up a little bit. So negative 3. All right, that's weird, but it will work in the context of the question because if we plug it in, we'll get a positive degree measure. So again, we're looking for this one. Um, we're looking for BDC, so this whole thing here. This one is actually pretty challenging. So I'm going to plug in negative 3 like I did last time. So that would be negative 6 plus 153. Negative 6 plus 153 is 147. So this is 147 AD, 147. So that's this piece. I'll highlight it in a different color if this ever works. So this blue piece is 147. We know, again, we know that AC is a diameter, right? So if that's a diameter, then I can say that this whole half a circle has to add up to 180. And I can't see, so I'll change that. That has to add to 180, the whole thing. So we can figure out what this little arc is, this missing piece, by saying 180 minus 147. 180 minus 147 is 33 degrees, right? Yes. So if this is 33 degrees, because these are diameters, this is also 33 degrees. They're vertical angles. 
So it, the answer would be 33 plus 147 plus 33. So 33. So we'll say 147 plus 33 plus 33. So that would be 13, 5, 8, 11, and that is 2. So your answer is 213 degrees, which you see most people had. This one was tricky. Um, there are definitely other ways to do this. I'm trying to think what they would be. Maybe you guys could let me know in the comments or um, in the materials page if you found a different way and a different strategy um, that we can discuss um, at a later date. Um, but that's how I would do this particular problem. Again, let me know if you have any questions as well. Thank you.